One of the things that the, the governor's office has done is also release a copy of what's called an official consent to transport form. It does include a redacted signature of someone. Uh, you see it there that they claim is a migrant who consented to the flight. Did any of the migrants you smoke with, as they're talking to you about their experience, did they consent to this? I think that it's important to, I know that DeSantis's office has released this information as and is implying that they have agreed to this and therefore they couldn't have been transported sort of um, under false pretenses. But but the reality is that the information that's provided there, there is not a full translation of the information between English to Spanish of what the individuals had signed. And also someone cannot consent to something if the information that provided to them was completely different from the circumstances of what happened. If I consent to you having a bite of my sandwich and then you take all of it, that's not, I didn't consent to that. So I think it's important to distinguish between the fact that consent has to be knowing and voluntary and the extent to what you consent to has limits. So even though they have purported to, to show this document, that establishes some kind of consent, we we believe that 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 is insufficient because that's not the information that was provided to them. And not all of the information in the document was even translated into a language that they understood. As we continue to watch this play out, Delaware uh, yesterday was preparing for a possible migrant flight, um, which didn't, of course, show up. As we're watching more and more of this play out, though, I'm guessing that you're talking with colleagues, you're talking with other folks around the country about how to best prepare for it. I'm curious, what do you think the impact is overall when it comes to the discussion, the very important discussion of immigration that frankly isn't happening? I mean, I think that this certainly has thrust immigration once again into the spotlight. Um, but the, the important thing to keep in mind is that there are legal processes for individuals who want to seek safety in this country and seek asylum to go through and we need to make sure that those rights are being protected and i think that is an important piece that isn't being discussed um it, it is it is not common for individuals to be just kind of placed in a, in a community not knowing that they're going there um, and then being left there with no provisions or support and i think that you know at the end of the day we should be striving to treat everyone who comes to this country under whatever circumstances with some dignity and respect and allow them to access the legal processes that exist. Emily Lung, appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. We Thank do you have, very much. 